Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. In this episode, we'll be doing the play ratings for uh, of the thrilling game between Punjab Kings and the Rajasthan Royals. It went down to the wire. It was a high-scoring thriller. Um, some amazing performances with the bat, but then some poor performances with the ball and in the field as well. So let's uh, crack down with the ratings. We'll do the Punjab rating first, and then we'll go with uh, Rajasthan. Punjab winning the game by four runs. Uh, let's start with uh, Captain KL Rahul. I think um, he batted uh, beautifully. Uh, you know, his his innings was amazing. He got one chance, but he made the most of that. Uh, 90 plus again in his first game. He's uh, fighting for that orange cap already. Um, the, his timing was beautiful. When he's in the Punjab jersey, he bats uh, like, you know, differently. And I think... Uh, this innings in particular, what was very impressive was his strike rate. I felt that he's upped it compared to last season. He was striking at 182, and I think that was a difference um, uh, between a 180, 200 to a 220 score, which they got in the end. So, strike rate for K. Rahul, very impressive. Um, uh, captaincy was uh, not bad. It was a high-scoring game. Like, uh, you know, the bowlers also have to take responsibility, but I'm going to dock a point. Uh, I'm going to give him 9 out of 10, and the uh, docking of the point is for the drop catch for Samson. If he took that catch as a regulation catch as wicket keeper. But is it the pressure getting to him or just like, you know, the strenuous, uh, the, the strenuous nature of the job of keeping captaincy and batting? Is that getting to him? I'm not sure. But it could have cost him the game big time. So 9 out of 10, um, <coughs> 9 solely based on his batting. Uh, but I have to dock off one for his keeping. Could have uh, docked a bit more if they lost. But <coughs> in the end, they won the game. So... 9 out of 10 for KL Rahul. And then his batting partner, Mayank Agarwal, not as effective today. Got out early, 14 of 9. So I'm going to give him <coughs> a 4 out of 10. A bit harsh, but yeah. Um, and then moving on, Chris Gill. Uh, Universe was still got it, man. 40 of 28 balls, two sixes, uh, four fours. Incredible batting. He shows what he can do at this age. It doesn't matter. He's fit. He's strong. And um, it was really good innings. He could have got more runs, but I think it set the platform uh, for Punjab. And I'm going to give him 7 out of 10. If he, uh, like, you know, it might seem a bit harsh, but uh, yeah, like if you got 50 plus, you could give him more points. But I think it was really good innings regardless. Um, and then moving on, for me, it was the innings of the... Uh, no, it wasn't the innings of the match, but one of the innings of the match. I think uh, Samson got the 100, so that was one of the... But Deepak Khuda, man, 64 of 28. Uh, yeah, it was just I, uh, it was probably the most shocking innings in the IPL uh, till now because we didn't expect that from him. I've seen him a lot in the Sunrisers as well before that in Rajasthan. He's had a few good innings here and there, but nothing like this. Um, you know, he had an issue as well in his domestic uh, team. Uh, he didn't play one of the tournaments because he had a fight with Kunal Pandya, but I think um, he shown what he can do and like i don't know whether this anger uh, this innings was created in anger i don't think it was just chilled out um, in the press uh, conference after but i think whatever it was um, if that geared him up or not i'm not sure but it was a wonderful innings clean hitting he was hitting from ball one and it wasn't like luck he was just he knew exactly where he was going to deposit the ball and like the shots were sensational he was looking down and hitting it for six it was just wonderful to watch extremely aggressive cricket and that got the impetus into punjab's uh, innings and like took them past 220 it was a wonderful innings and 9.5 out of 10 i want to give him more i want to give him 10 on 10 i can but uh, let's just go 9.5 out of 10 for now for deepak with a wonderful innings nicholas puran um he came in the end couldn't do much i was surprised i thought he was going to bat at four but huda went and it paid off you know it was a it was a move that paid off and puran the finisher he just had it over he got out early so i'm going to give him four on 10 but you can't really criticize him because that's what the role the role was hit out or get out uh, and then uh, Richardson, I think he was uh, slightly poor uh, with the bat. He just had a few balls. So I'm not going to judge him on that. But with the bowling, he was, uh, uh, I think, uh, pretty expensive. 13.75 was his economy. He picked up a wicket, but I think, uh, and, and a very important wicket of uh, Joss Butler. So I'm going to give him credit for that, to be honest with you, um, uh, because it was a huge wicket. But at the same time, I think that, uh, I don't know if it was the price tag pressure, but in general, I think bowling in Indian conditions is different to Australian conditions. So he'll have to adapt to that uh, quicker. Because there's a very expensive economy rate, I think, and I think he should do better going forward. Uh, I was going to, uh, I'm going to give him an extra point for that Butler's wicket, so 5 on 10, but I think it was a bit below average performance because of the economy rate. I'll give him 5 on 10 for uh, for Jai Richardson. Uh, and then uh, uh, moving on, um, uh, Murugan Ashwin. Murugan Ashwin, I think, um, you know, uh, he was um, okay with the ball. 10.75 economy is pretty expensive, but... Uh, he didn't pick up wickets. I think that was the problem. So I think he'll have to work on that. I'm going to give him four run 10. Um, not too bad considering everyone else went for like 13, 12 runs and over, but I'm still, I think uh, you expect some wickets from him in the middle over. So Murugan Ashwin, I'm going to give him four run 10. 
Um, and then uh, the next player that I'm going to look at is Mohammad Shami. I think he was fantastic today with the new ball. He got the wicket of Stokes, a massive wicket. And then, um, you know, he got hit for a bit in between, but then he changed his length and started bowling short and got the wicket of Parag. I think that was a crucial wicket. If Parag stayed with Samson, the game was done even. Uh, it wouldn't even have gone to the last over, I think, the way they were hitting. So, uh, wonderful bowling by Shami. He's showing that he has the experience. And if he can get support from the other end, from the likes of Richardson and Meredith, I think that will really help Punjab. They really need that. But he's shown that that he has, um, he's a class bowler, Shami has the skills. I'm going to give him 8 on 10 for his performance. And then Meredith. Uh, Meredith, again, very expensive today. He picked up a wicket, but, um, you know, he'll have to work on his variations. I don't think, um, you know, he was he was bowling really quick, but they were using his pace, especially Samson was picking him beautifully. So in that, uh, Jai Richardson also had variations, but it's, again, you know, when to use it, when not to use it, which batsman are you going to bowl to? You have to bowl according to the batsman as well, uh, you know, and your field. And I don't think they did that uh, really well, and uh, he'll have to work on that. But he did pick up a wicket. I'm going to give him 5 on 10. I, these guys, it's like, you know, they're uh, early days for them in the IPL. So I don't want to be too harsh on them. 5 on 10 for uh, Meredith. And then uh, moving on to Arjdeev, I think he was probably um, the best performer for uh, Punjab along with Huda because he won them the game, I think. Match winner. Uh, match winner was Arjdeev. Uh, picked up three wickets. Uh, for 35 runs, economy of 8.75, and also he pulled that last over, defending 13 runs. 13 runs, the way Samson was going, it felt like two boundaries, it's over. But he kept on, uh, he he kept his nerve, he held his nerve, and he pulled according to his field, he pulled slightly away from the body, made it difficult for the batsman, and it was a wonderful last over, and a brilliant spell overall from Arjdi, I'm going to give him 9.5 out of 10. So that's 9.5 for Arjdeep. That wraps up the Punjab ratings. And now we'll move on to the Rajasthan uh, Rajasthan Royals uh, ratings uh, with Ben Stokes uh, up the order. I think uh, Ben Stokes both with the bat and ball disappointed and especially disappointed in the field. And with the drop catch, I'm going to dock a point. I'm going to give him 3 out of 10. Yes, you can have your uh, bad days, but he was like, you know, with the, as an all-rounder, you expect to contribute a bit some way and I don't think he contributed at all and that drop catch of Rahul really costed them like what 80 runs and that could have been the difference in the end and Stokes takes those catches so high expectation that's why I'm going to be critical on him three out of ten with the bat also he got out too early I think he should have um maybe watched it a bit before going I know it was a very high score but the the like you know the conditions were as such as well they're really good for batting and you can make up the strike rate in those situations and uh, Samson showed that. So I think uh, Stokes, uh, disappointing performance, but he'll come back strong. He's a quality player, no doubt about that. Three out of 10 for him. Four, I'm going to give him uh, four out of 10. You know, um, his expectations weren't as much. I think he just had the license to go. He tried doing that. He had a few boundaries, but then I think, uh, uh, you know, just uh, hit one straight to his tape and it stuck. So uh, I think, you know, he was trying to fulfill his role. He couldn't. Um, let's see whether they changed the opening thing. But I think uh, it was okay. Four out of ten because, you know, he just he didn't get a start. But he tried. At least his approach was okay. Um, Samson, what an inning. Sensational, man. Like 119 of 63 balls, 12, 4, 7, 6 is timing was crisp as you know crisp as a crystal whatever you want to call it it was so good uh, it was a fantastic innings um, his shots were world class uh, placement was beautiful he played under pressure uh, yes he did get two chances he made the most of it i think that's why you couldn't you can, i don't think you can give it a 10 on 10 because he did give two chances in the end yes he didn't finish it as well if you want to be really harsh um, but it was a wonderful innings i i thoroughly enjoyed it i think uh, he deserved to get his team over the line. A, a lot of talk whether he should have, um, you know, given Morris the single, but he was rotating the stride before that. And the, unfortunately, Morris, Tevatia, they weren't being able to hit the ball and he was timing it beautifully. So I think the decision for him to stay on strike on the last ball was good. I thought it went for six as well, but, you know, um, it went to the fielder and at covers. But I think it was a sensational innings. I'm going to give him 9.9 .9 out of 10. I'm docking a point one just because... Uh, it didn't finish. He didn't finish it, and also he got a couple of chances. Not his fault, though. Um, I think a near perfect innings, but uh, yeah, unlucky for Samson. It was just wonderful. I think if you just look, you know, he scored the hundred, so you have to get a few points for that. Um, it was under pressure, it was batting second, everything, and he was captain, debut captain. So taking everything into consideration, I think it was an outstanding knock from Samson. Uh, yeah, that's his rating. And then for Butler, 6 out of 10. Um, you know, expected him to go on, I think, you know, once he got the start. But I'm going to give him a few marks for that 
start. He had four fours uh, in a row. And I think that gave Samson also a lot of confidence. And it actually restarted the uh, Rajasthan innings after they lost two wickets. So I'm going to give uh, Butler six out of 10 for that, for that start. Um, uh, yeah, and hopefully he can, you know, convert the starts in the future for Rajasthan. Moving up to Shivam Dubey, I think um, I'm going to give him 5 on 10. Again, it was a good partnership with Samson, 25, 23 or 15. He did a few boundaries as well, but he was very expensive with the ball. I think uh, in one over, he gave 20 runs, very expensive. So he'll have to work on that because, you know, he's chipping in as an all-rounder. Uh, but yeah, with the bat, he was decent. Maybe ideally would want to score a bit more runs and he should have stayed a bit, uh, you know, stayed there till the end. Uh, that should have been his role, but... Uh, I think it was a decent performance by him. So I'm going to give him 5 out of 10. It's just I'm dock, docking one point for his bowling. Ryan Parag really impressed me. I think excellent batting. His pickup shot was wonderful. Give uh, absolutely brilliant support to Samson. He got them back into the game because he was taking pressure off Samson and he's hitting the boundaries, hitting sixes. He made sure that, you know, runs were flowing from both ends. That's key when you're chasing 220. So for... Um, uh, so for Parag, I'm going to give him 8 out of 10. And then moving on to Tiwatia, 4 out of 10, I think, um, with the poly was expensive. Uh, dropped the catch of Gale as well. And then I think with the bat, um, he just couldn't get going. You know, I think he, he should, like, at least should have rotated the strike a bit more. Even if he caught one boundary here and there, would have helped Rajasthan a lot. Um, so for that, um, I think I'm going to give him 4 out of 10, Tiwatia. Uh, Morris. Um, Morris again he picked up a couple of wickets with the ball uh, but it was expensive 10.25 economy and with the bat he disappointed me his uh, strike rate was around 50 I think you expect him to score at least one boundary in that situation I know it's very difficult for a new batsman to do that so uh, like you know, I can't be too too critical but at the same time you know I'm not even talking about the price tag let's forget about the price tag because you know unfortunately that's the case it's not his fault he got that price tag so it's just his role in this specific game I think it required at least one or two boundaries. Unfortunately, he didn't get the strike in the last ball. But um, yeah, I think bowling was decent. Uh, I, and he was bought to complement Archer. He wasn't just bought for the leading pacer. So I think it's still a good buy, Chris Morris. I think it was an okay performance, not too great. He'll, uh, especially with the bat, he'll want to improve and try to hit from ball one if he can. That will be his role as a finisher. I'm going to give him 5 on 10 because uh, he picked up two wickets and you know he's playing with that pressure of the price tag. So 5 on 10 for Morris. Um, Gopal, 3 out of 10 because I think... Uh, uh, as a spinner, you have to pick up wickets, uh, and and you, if you're going for so many runs, you need to at least pick up a wicket here. And there. the same problem he had last season, and that's the issue with Rajasthan. Him and Tiwatia and the middle overs are not picking up wickets consistently, and they're going for so many runs, uh, and um, it's costing them games, I think. And that's why the target run is so high. So Shares Gopal, three overs, forty runs, economy of thirteen point three three. That's you know really gonna hurt uh, Rajasthan. So he'll have to work on that. He is talented. I, you know he can play with the bat as well, um, with the ball. He's picked up wickets in the past. He needs to get that rhythm back. If not, then they'll have to try someone like Mark and Dave. But yeah, I'm going to give him three on 10 based on today's performance. Uh, and then moving on to uh, Sakaria, I think is that uh, his debut game pulled wonderfully, man. Four overs, 31 runs, three wickets. What a spell. I think uh, similar to Arshdeep, these left arm young Indian bowlers are very, very, um, you know, crucial, like, they're taking pace off the ball. It's not easy to hit them on these kind of wickets, even though it's good for batting because they, you know, they're bowling these cutters, these variations. The batsmen don't know what to expect. And uh, I was very impressed with his uh, bowling um, uh, was uh, um, Sarkaria, and I'm going to give him nine on ten. Yeah, I think it was a wonderful performance. Otherwise, the score could have gone two fifty if he was expensive. And Mustafa Fizur, um, you know, he's in Rajasthan colors now. He's played for Sunrise. He's playing for Mumbai Indians as well. Slightly on the expensive side, 11.25 economy rate. I'm going to give him 4 on 10. They'll expect a bit more from him, especially in the depth. And probably pick up, uh, like, he'll, he'll need to pick up a few wickets as well. Uh, but, yeah, I think that uh, wraps up the player ratings. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment with your ratings as well on, the, uh, on this video. And, uh, yeah, take care. See you tomorrow.